Hi guys, I'm Bacon, and this is Bacon's Arena Wednesdays. So I'm actually straight home from work today, and we are going to jump right into the arena fray. So let's get shit on the road. Purchase complete. Hells yeah. Okay, so we can do Priest, Shaman, or Rogue. We did Priest the last time, and we kind of sucked as Priest, so I'm gonna go to Rogue this time. Your I hate Shamans. Like, Shamans is... I don't like playing Shaman. So boring. Okay, Rogue. So we need small minions. We need, like, a good mana curve at 2 and 3, I guess. And then a smaller curve, and then some big guys. After you cast a spell, deal damage to all minions. This is really good as a rogue because you have a lot of spells. Or you should have a lot of spells. We have no idea what's gonna happen today. Mind control take is also a 3-3. Three, three. It's for free. That's good against other rush decks, I guess. This could be really good in... in um, this could be really good in... Uh, arena, I guess. if you, Because a lot of people are rushing. But we're gonna go with Wild Pyromancer because it's a board clear. And I think that's good. Uh, so Shiv is really good for... Like triggering combos with the rogue, but it's only one damage for two mana. Oh, well, it's draw card as well, okay? So that's really good. Ventrico Mercenary is also freaking awesome. I'll go with you, I think. I have no idea if this is the right or wrong play. Uh, okay, so this guy, he sucks. We don't, like, we don't want any taunts, pretty much. We just want to go for super, super, super aggro. Uh, betrayal. Enemy minion deals his damage to the minions next to it. Cold blood. I think cold blood is better for finishing off enemies. Uh, Assassin's blade is uh, so it's either Shadow Sun Cleric or Assassin's blade. I think Assassin's blade is really good. So we'll take Assassin's blade. Weapons can always be good. Okay, so that we had another one. Hmm. Uh, novice engineer is also good for like triggering. Uh, Triggering combos because it's kind of cheap and it also gives draw a card. Um, and if it's left unharmed now that it's a 1 1, they sometimes leave it and go for the face instead. You can always cold blood it and then it's gonna be, uh, well, it's gonna be better for attack. So it's a 5 1. Obviously, it's just pretty much one hit, but if it's in the end, it could be good. Assassin's Blade, it could be pretty cool having a second Assassin's Blade. I think that would be really good. We have the Shiv for draw a card. Um, um, but we only have one two minion. And we really want seven two minions with the rule of seven. I haven't made that up myself, but I read that somewhere. It's supposed to be really good, like Trump, I think, or Viva Fringe. One of those guys. So we already have one blade, so I'm gonna go with another engineer. Okay, so here are three good minions actually. So I think not Iron Beak Owl. Since we want to finish stuff in the early game, Shouldn't be that many things we need to silence. If we go to late game, it's too late, I would say. So Raptor is nice, but obviously we're gonna go with Fairy Dragon having the same stats and you can target with spells. Okay, this is interesting. So we have no big guys as of yet, but I think we're still okay to take another Fairy Dragon. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> and now we got... Okay, so either another Cold Blood or an Iron Beak Owl. Silence is good since we have one cold blood already, so I'll go for the for the for the owl. And you guys always whine about that I'm not using the owl uh, enough. Okay. Uh, Arcane Golem could be pretty good because it's got a charge. Although I don't like I hate spells that gives your opponent an advance. This is only good basically if you're finishing off and if you need four extra damage. And in that case, well, that's not really something for me. I'd rather go with the Violet Teacher here because it has such an awkward health for four mana. Um, and also since I should have many spells. I only have like two spells right now, I think. So we have Shiv and Cold Blood, but Violet Teacher is still pretty, de pretty decent, I think. Hmm. So either a finishing card, which is also a free card, I guess, but... Like putting this on the board early game, which I guess you have to if you're playing, like if you get this guy and you have, it's turn three and you have no other play, like three mana play, I guess you should play this guy. And giving your opponent a mana crystal at turn three or turn four, that's so crucial for the game. 
they be, they'll be able to put out bigger guys so much faster and they could snipe this guy off only having two health so I'll go with Violet Teacher okay so Secret Keeper when I'm Secret play game plus one plus one now we don't really need that head crack oh, oh, this is not a good choice because head crack isn't really that good it's okay if you combo it but it's rarely like you rarely you cannot combo it really and especially not especially not in arena how many two minions do we have one no let's say one two three four five i only need two more two minions so we i think we need to take the arcane golem at this point either the arcane golem yeah i'm just gonna yolo yolo arcane golem so we have another assassin's blade or we have I guess the raid leader the raid leader could be good if you're playing rogue. This is really good though. So this is two four five worth of attack for four mana. And we don't have that many big guys, so I'll go with this, yeah. Shadow step is good. Do we have anything with a nice battle cry? So we have Dragon Ling mechanic. We have uh, Arcane Golem. Uh, they'll give him another mana crystal though. So we have Novice, we have Iron Beak. Yeah, that's basically what we have. Shadow Step is really good, but I don't know what you could draw in Arena to actually use Shadow Step on. Like, nothing really. Like, this is the only one, and that's not good enough to have Shadow Step in your deck. So I think I'm gonna have to go with Gnomish Inventor here for draw a card. Uh, Eviscerate, or shit, Defies Ringleader or Eviscerate. Like, I won't be able to use the Fire's Ring Leader anyway, right, as it looks right now, because I don't have that many spells. This is also really good. I think I, had a, I, think I have to go with the Viserate here, though. Um, and we got the Ring Leader here, or draw a card. My curve is looking pretty thick on two drops right now. Three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, I'm counting right. So I'm gonna go with the ringleader for the 6-2 drop. That's a good 2 drop. Uh, we have the Assassin's Blade already. Um, could use another one, but not at this point. Backstab is awesome for um, doing combos. A third Cold Blood, that could be really powerful, I think. I, I think it's... No, I actually only took one Cold Blood before, so yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna do Cold Blood here. Um, could also do Razor Fan Hunter. Which is a nice battle cry, I guess. I think mana curve wise, it doesn't matter which one of these guys I take. We're half through, so I think I'll go with another cold blood to have more spells. Now we need big guys. So, spell power is good because we're rogue. So, this will do three, for example. Um, Eviscerate will do uh, three or five. Uh, she will do two. But, so we have one, two, three. We have three spells that will benefit from this. So I'm definitely going to go with the Boulder Fist Ogre. And having so many small guys, we could definitely go with Frost, Frost Wolf Warlord here. It's safe to assume. Uh, Deadly Poison is good for our weapon. Jungle Panther, like Jungle Panther combo with Cold Blood could be insane. This could be a 12-2, and they wouldn't even be able to hit him if I just let him be. But then again, he only has 2 health. So, like, a Strangle Tor Tiger would be nice. This guy has a little bit too little health. Like, this could easily be cleared with pretty much all board clears out there. So, I'm gonna have to deny that one. If it would have had, like, charge, it would have been nice, I guess. Uh, we don't really need Divine Shit, so I'm gonna go with Deadly Poison. Since I have weapons. Oh, we got Perdition's Blade. That's really nice. Okay, this is hard because we have one weapon. Could always use Perdition's Blade. It's really good. Like mana curve wise, I need more. I need like the the Abo is awesome to clear boards with. At this point, I have one kind of board clear, which is not very good. So I think I'll have to go with the Abo over Perdition's Blade. Although this is like four damage. Insta. So either we go with the blade. That's but that's just, that's just gonna clear one guy. This is probably more value if you play it in the right time. Go with Abo. Oh, epics. 
Return a minion to its owner's hand, that's pretty decent. Um, but Faceless Manipulator is definitely awesome. That's like, super big guy. Uh, has charge while I have a weapon equipped, I guess that's pretty good. But we have a lot of twos now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I don't want to have another one. If I'm getting something, I want to have a two, I think. Even though this South Sea South Deckhand, Deckhand is really good for Rogue, I guess. But it's... Well, it's, it's guaranteed two damage. So often this is, I guess, this is a two for one. Like, almost always, so that's good. This, however, is also a two for one, being having charge. Betrayal. Oh, that's also really good. <laughs> So either I think I want to go, like this is not that good because it has so little health, so it's just going to die. It's going to be 5 damage for 6 mana pretty much. This is going to be, since this is so cheap if you get it early, this could be 4 damage for 1 mana. Or it could be 2 for 1, which is good. But this is often probably just 5 for 6, which is not very good. Betrayal is, this is also really good. This is a good board here, so I'm going to take that as a board here and as another spell. To combo it. Uh, SI7 Agent is awesome for Rogue. Uh, Defender of Argus is also kind of good, but we don't need Taunt that much, so I'm gonna go for Agent. Okay, so Dark Errand Dwarf for the mana curve, since we have a Betrayal already. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, 7 spells right now. Could always use more spells. But I think Dark Iron Dwarf is the way to go here, because we don't have that much place on, on 4. Spiteful Smith is pretty nice. Your weapon has plus 2 attack. I think this is... This is really good, because he has a lot of health. He can't be killed by priests. And uh, I'm pretty much often, not always, but I'm often gonna have a weapon being a uh, rogue. If, can, if I can get another weapon now, it would be good, I think. Young Priestess, at the end of your turn, give another random friendly minion one health. That's pretty good. Belkai, give, give a friendly minion stealth. Okay, that is really good. Like, who could need stealth, though? Hmm. No one, really. Like, you have to have a guy all out already that's, that's big. I know I only have small guys. No one really needs stealth. So I, I think I'll go with Young Priestess here. Or, you can see this as a 4 4 4 4. This is a 4-3 for three, 3 though. So 4-3 for three, four, 3 is better than 4-4 for four, 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 but this is better for... Honestly, this is better for um, priests. <sighs> Young priests, this feels like, like this. Since I have no taunts, this guy is just going to be killed off instantly anyway. She's going to be able to give someone plus 1 health. And it's at random, so I can't choose it anyway. So I'm going to go with Master of Disguise. Okay, this is nice. So I don't like this guy. It's either Poisoner or Frostbolt Warlord, and you know, do, how many big guys do we have? One, two, three, four. I think we have, you could, I don't know if we count this as a big guy, but let's say three or four big guys. Obviously we want to finish this in the early game, but then again, I don't know. We don't have that many stuff that takes combo actually, I'm just gonna see here, because we'll take this for combo. One, two. Three, four, five. Okay, I have five combo cards, so I'm gonna go with Trustful Warlord here. Um, definitely Adiant, right? Yeah, we have a lot of big guys now. Oh, Fan of Nice. Fan of Knives is nice. Echo Lot of Pain is nice. Sprint is not very good. Like, Sprint is, could be good to save you in the end of the game, but, like, if you have to use Sprint, you're pretty much dead anyway. I'd say. If you're not ahead and just can't do anything else. So, I'm gonna go with Fan of Knives here, I think. Board clear of some kinds is always nice, and this also triggers a combo. Uh, without, you know, having to be a combo. This is good, but I have already some card draw with the Novice Engineer. How much card do we have? So we have uh, one, not that much, two, three, yeah, 
free card draw. That will be good. Like that's a guaranteed fourth card draw. But Phantom Knives is better, I think. Ooh, Knife Juggler is really nice in this deck. And this would be... Oh, this is also awesome in a rogue deck. Because of... One... Two... Three... So this is only gonna boot three spells, so that's not as good. Knife Juggler is definitely the card to go with here. So I got... Did I get seven? One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, nice. I think this could be decent. I don't know. I would have had the curve like go like this. Now it went like this. But we'll see. We'll see. This could be the day that we advance. Bacon's Arena Wednesdays. First game going down. Versus Versus Uther. Uther. Hate meeting Pelican. I will fight with honor. But never mind. Watch yeah, we got an extra card in turn two. I think that's good. <laughs> okay, so we don't need this guy just yet. We don't need this guy just yet. I hope so, at least. Uh, betrayal, we don't need that guy. He's good, better for late game. This is really good, though. Agents, agents. Give me lots of agents. Okay, we got Ringleader, which is good, and we got Cold Blood, which is also good. You shall not pass. The pleasure is mine. Well met. I think if I do this, I'm gonna combo for this. I think so. I sure hope so anyway. This is our town, scrub. Yeah, beat it. They can take down that guy, so I don't need to use backstab. Ringleader is really nice. Reporting for duty. Uh, he's just gonna be able to trade that one, but that doesn't really matter. You look at me. <laughs> this is uh, still a two for one. Um, okay, so I think I want to play a weapon at this point, and I could actually do this. Go. And this guy can do two damage instead of only one damage. I think that's a good solution. Agent, do we play agent last next turn? Yeah, we can. I can backstab and kill that guy. I mean, this could be really, really annoying anyway. So we could backstab this. Two damage. Bam. And then trade these. Bam. No, I should have traded those. Obviously, I would have, would have had one guy left. That was bad by me. Sorry. Ah, this guy's tough. Here we go. That was really bad. I thought it would be a trade either way, and this guy felt better, but obviously it wasn't because that thing only had uh, one health or one attack. And Not if I should have traded these instead, I would have had three minions right now. Sorry, guys, that was bad by me. My bad, my bad. Okay, so no idea using cold blood here. Uh, definitely trading these guys. Gave him a. Um, I don't know why they would even do that to a loot order. I'm just not gonna care, care about that one. So, mm. what can we do here? Um, I could cold blood something, but no, no, I don't think that's good. So, gonna hey, do like, like this. Hey, lights out. I'll trade, uh, hey, trade these guys. Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, and this one will die by either one of those three. I think that Not is done. the best one to do, actually. Because this still only does one damage. So wasting one damage to get rid of the Divine Shield, I think is... I think is a good solution. I think it's an okay play. But if you think otherwise, drop a comment below and tell me what I should've done. Okay, we want to get rid of that guy. He is horrible! Oh fuck, they gave him the mind shield. Well played, bro. 
what I could do now is faceless manipulator this guy. I think that will give him that will give him hell because I could trade my two guys into that guy. Mm. So many options. But that guy wouldn't die though. This would become a six six for five. I think that's even better, actually. Hmm. The frost wolves stand ready. If you're sure, look at me. Here we go. Whenever a minion dies, gain plus one attack. Okay, so that guy is gonna be fucking huge. Oh shit. And then he's gonna kill off the little guy. Okay, so I have nothing to take that away. But now I can face this manipulator it. Because. Four, five. That would be six. Uh, or I could put this together. That would be four, eight. Hmm. So if I attack into this, it would be three damage. Or, yeah. That guy would grow, though, also. So I could do six, seven damage. Oh, nice. If I do this. You looking at me? If you're sure. That's how we roll, bro. So now I have a 12 7 on the board. It's pretty sweet. And he has three cards on hand, so. Man, that's a taunt. I don't really care for your taunt, bro. Please give me something to get rid of that taunt. Oh, god damn it. Okay, should I give my guy stealth? I think this is a great opportunity to give this guy stealth. Actually. Enter the shadows. No, I should have attacked for oh, fucking hell. Mistakes should have attacked away. first and then gave it stealth. Am I retarded or what? Oh god damn it, that was so bad. Hmm. Hmm. Here we go. Oh, fucking hell, I can't kill that thing. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this game. Here we go. Oh my god, I could have played that round so much better. I could have attacked and then given the stealth and it wouldn't be able he wouldn't be able to kill it. And I would have probably won won the game. Justice. Oh my god, that's so bad. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Never mind, it's okay. I can trade uh, his taunt with my stealth guy now. Yeah, definitely, because apparently he doesn't seem to want to. Yeah, this is gonna be. This is gonna taste good. Blades ready. Okay. Now we can. Here we drop go. that guy. Then we can pop. What do we want to do here, really? We want to do Fairy Dragon 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 5, 6, 7, 8, yeah. They are to yeah this guy's toast. <sighs> I'm just going straight for the face here. He's got 10 health and I got 21, so. And I have a 14 7 on the field, like. Well played. What we do. I'll be able to take this guy out. I'll do a weapon, then attack into here. Yeah. Unless he's like super lucky and draws like Avenging Wrath or something, but no, he has no mana left, so. That doesn't matter.
Okay, so we are 1-0, which is better than probably last time we ended up starting out with like 0-2. Oh, druids. So this could be good and this could be bad, because this could mean a druid who is like trying to rush us, but obviously he won't be able to draw on a Morlock deck. So it could also mean a druid who's trying to go for fat guys, as druids often do. And like, if you've chose druid, he's probably using, you know, a com a control deck in Constructed. We could always hope this is the case. So, <coughs> this rate is really good, Haven. This, we don't really need that now. We'll, we'll go away, throw away that. Um, My okay. greeting. The pleasure is mine. I don't like being first out. Rarely ever you can play as first out. Guess I'll have to do this guy and hope he trades with this guy. Do you like to play with fire? Okay, okay. If you wonder why I'm looking kind of unnormal with clothes and stuff, I'm coming straight from work. Okay, so you could do that, do that as well, I guess. Did you use oh, claw? Huh. That's good though. Did you use, use claw, I guess? Okay, so we have uh, this, and do we have anything that takes a combo? No, we don't really. Do we want to give him a mono crystal? No, I don't. <laughs> At this rate, I want to so save that. Options. Oh shit! So can't really use anything here. So I'll do backstab. Does this backstab draw a card as well? No, it's not. <laughs> I was like, will I get a card? <laughs> will I get something for free? Could this potentially be like, what could he have that could kill this guy in one go though? Ah, uh, YOLO. YOLO Ark and Golem. Not this early since he hasn't got anything on the board. I must safeguard the land. Oh man, that's so lucky. Fuck it. Yeah, so I'm pretty much owned now. Like now I'm super behind because of that. Okay, so I don't want to give anything stealth because I don't have anything on the board. Can't put this guy out because he's too expensive. I can't give anything cold blood. All I can do is make a freaking dagger, and that sucks. I wonder. Oh shit, this is so bad. Uh, I guess this is. Enter the shadows. That's the best play I can do, I guess, and that sucks. Never mind. Yolo Arcanite Golem. <laughs> What's it? Yolo Arcane Golem. Damn you! I thought he was gonna silence me when he put this out. I forgot it even could deal two damage. I've like never seen anyone use it as two damage. Hmm. Who would even do that? Maybe he saved it. Uh, wow. Well, I guess it's one to the face, and I get to kill his minions. So that's that's a good. This is a good trade anyway. I got his face and his minions, so that's two for one. Or I guess you could say it's a 2 for 1. So this is also really, really super mega bad. Oh. I guess even better putting out Iron Beak Owl at this point and like than putting out this guy. I'm honestly I think I'm gonna put out the Iron Beak so Owl here. Many options. I don't even I think my only chance of winning here is going for the face. Oh, my owl! <laughs> no! <laughs> One damage, draw a card. Okay, so yeah, we're really fucked here. Um, so either we go for War Warlord here, but that's so bad. I think it's just better potentially taking the 3 damage at this point. 
Okay, so if he does anything else, the trail is awesome. So yeah. Here we go. I mean, he has seven mana now because he's one mana ahead. So he ought to put out one more minion. Oh, that's good. So I'll kill off the Kodo for sure. And the Kodo is kind of hard to kill anyway, so that's good. Um, this guy is seven damage though. He is, so that's what we do. Really Here we go. This does two to all characters, so this is gonna hurt him too as well. So he's gonna take. F Never mind. He swipes my. Okay. Wow, this is gonna Silver hurt. I thought he was giving that guy divine shield for, for a second. Oh shit! I can't kill that guy, so I'm gonna lose now. <laughs> Fucking hell! Yeah, this is the only thing I can do. Pay attention, class. Here we go. That's all I can do right now. He would have to trade both his guys into mine, I think. No! Oh my god, that's a good deck. Wow, I'm fucked. I am fucked, man. I can't. I don't know if I can draw. I don't know if we have anything we can draw at this point in time. Since I have no taunt, do I like have any charge? Wow. I'm nothing that would clear that board. No, that didn't help me anything. So yeah, we lost. I cannot kill. I can do that seven or seven, and I can't kill any one of those because I have no charge, and uh, we are dead. Too bad. I Basically, I was just really bad, I guess. Spellmaster! Yes! Okay, so we're down to 1-1. One, one. No problem, guys. So, this was the first part of Bacon Arena Wednesdays today. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to play the entire arena, but we'll definitely do another part. Stay tuned on Bacon.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Boop, boop.